Let's start with the Arduino and ROS2 integration. In this video, we are going to glow the LED on the Arduino board itself. So let's get started with the video. We just need the Arduino Uno board or any Arduino board and also ROS2 installed on your system. We have uh, made previous ROS2 setup and made all the workspaces and packages. So make sure that you have watched all the previous videos. So let's get started with this one. First of all, you have to open your Arduino IDE and connect the Arduino board using the Arduino cable. Uh, I have the Arduino Uno board and the cable for that. You have to make arrangement for the Arduino board if you want to do it practically else you can watch it. And also I will make this code public on the GitHub repo. The link is in the description. Else you can pause this video and get the code from there as well. So after connecting the Arduino board, you have to check that the respective board is selected. In my case, it is Arduino Uno. And then you have to select the port as well. So my port is DOTTY ACM0. It might be USB0, USB1, anything. So yeah. And then the code is really very very simple like a normal Arduino code. So I am not going to the very deeper level of it. Uh, we have used the if and elif statement here, else if statement. So whenever we press 1, the LED will glow and when we press 0, the LED will turn off. So that is the basic logic of it. You can once check on the serial monitor as well, if it works or not. So if you want to check, I will recommend that first check on the serial monitor and then go for the ROS integration part. So you can see that the LED here is glowing, this LED. Okay. And if I press 0, then it will be off. Okay. So I, I think you can see that, but yeah, if one it glows, if I press 0, then it is turned off. Right. So this it is working serially, but uh, to integrate this with the ROS2 like for the Python nodes, we will apply the same logic. This particular code will remain in the Arduino itself and we will connect the ROS2 nodes serially. So the basic communication will be serial communication as we discussed in the previous video. So that concept will be used here. So yeah, let's get started with the ROS2 node creation part. So for that you have to create a new package in your workspace. You can use the existing package. That's not a very big problem, but it depends upon you. If you want uh, to maintain good packages and don't want to get confused in the future, I will recommend to make a new package. And after creating a new package, you have to create a new node here. So I have created a new node and the main point here is that you have to import serial library in Python because we are going to use PySerial. If you have not installed PySerial, then you can just go in your uh, terminal and in the terminal you have to type if 3 install PySerial. Okay, so after typing this particular command or the necessary command, you will install PySerial library which is needed for the node creation part, right? So it's very simple. I will just go to the workspace, clear and I will source, what is it? Okay, so I have got bash. Okay, I have created the node already. You know how to create a node, so follow those particular steps. And in this particular node, we have mentioned the serial port. It is very important to mention the serial port and the baud rate. If the baud rate is different, then the serial communication will not be successful. And as per the default node format, as we create the class for that particular node, we have to create one class here, initialize the node, uh, here we are creating a subscriber node and then we are logging the message and then the main important step is to use the while true command because uh, we have to give input to the terminal. So, so the message should be displayed on the terminal like uh, the command that we have to type. So that is important because unless and until we don't type the command that is one, the LED will not glow. For this particular video, we are using the LED example, but this same logic will be used to control the motors in a similar way. Okay. So you are, for example, you are writing a code for motor controlling. So you will give the code to the Arduino for motor controlling and use some commands I, J, K, L, uh, comma or any command and then same commands will be included in the python code but you also have to mention those commands in the python script 
that is important the logic is important else the node format is same for every python node and then again here we are creating one logging message uh, you can also use f string here i have used the previous uh, string format to print the logging message you can use f string here you have to shut down the node or else end the process so that's how the node creation works for the arduino ros2 node it is very simple uh, you can copy this node by pausing the video or else you will get in the github repository it depends upon your choice so now after getting that you know we have to get into the workspace and do the qualcomm build while apart after that we have to run the node make sure that the arduino board is connected okay and after connecting the board you have to run the node ros2 run the package name is arduino underscore ros2 and then led underscore node dot py now he is asking like please input your command so the command was one to glow the led so the led is active now and then zero to off it so it's really very simple to connect arduino to ros2 this particular concept is very important it, i know it is very simple but these simple concepts will be helpful to communicate the ros2 with the microcontrollers further that could be controlling the motor or else any particular application that you want so i hope you understood this particular concept if you got the concept from this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have any doubt you can add in the comment section or else reach out to me on instagram or linkedin so yeah let's meet in the next video till then grow learn and explore together bye